You're gonna stand next to the reformer and you're gonna bring the inside foot onto the carriage and you can just rest maybe for a moment. It's actually really nice to, um, to start down instead of starting too high up because you want the front hip bones to be level and if you, if you kind of lift the knee intentionally off, then you might already be on not level cricket. So I'm resting for a moment to, to position my foot, to make sure I have all four corners of the foot planted and to check that my hips are level. So for me, I just barely lift um, the knee off the carriage. And then depending if I straighten my standing leg more, then this will have to come up higher too, right? Or I can use straightening and bending of the standing leg to correct my pelvis position depending on which hip drops. So I'm trying to be level and I'm trying to do my best without seeing myself. Um, it's okay to hold on initially. You can maybe hold on by the side of the bar, um, depending on what kind of type of foot bar you have, right? Um, or, or in the center, just try and keep your shoulders nice and open instead of closing them up. And you want a diagonal from the top of the head through the tailbone, right? Re maintaining your neutral curves. And then you press back, you kick the leg back, and you bring it back in. You kick the leg back, and you bring it in. A really good hands-on cue for yourself or for that you can uh, use with your students uh, is <laughs> I just noticed that as I'm taking my hands away from the bar, I'm leaning and I was lifting my left hip up, so I was just trying to correct that. So I can have one hand behind my back and one hand against my lower belly, and I'm trying not to move. Right, I feel that this is coming up a little bit, but that's mostly my glute. I'm trying to feel the opening in the hip, in the front, in the front hip of the back leg. <laughs> but I'm not moving here. So I'll show you what we don't want. We don't want the lumbar spine to go into extension every time I'm kicking back, right? So now I'm using mostly my lower back and not really my glute. So I usually say extend the leg to the point where you can keep the lower back long and not any further. Hop on over to PilatesEncyclopedia.com. There's so much more for you to discover. And before you leave, subscribe here so you get notifications as soon as I post a new video. Thanks.